Anyway, so Hello everyone and welcome to my evening routine as a medical student. After a long day studying at university, I then make my way back home. Honestly, the sunset today was absolutely stunning. So hi guys and welcome back to Journey to Med. I'm just in my drive through right now because I literally just got back from university and I thought that it would be really nice to do an evening routine for you guys just to give you guys a bit of an insight into what I get up to as a medical student once I get home. For those of you who don't know, my name is Liddy and I'm a second year medical student. I hope you enjoy the rest of this video. Oh my god guys, I thought I saw a wolf here but it was just a cat. Yes, it will be my vlog, Grace. No, Daniel, you're too young to start a YouTube channel. I told you this. Daniel, maybe when you turn a number that has two digits in it, I'll let you start one. Not two digits. <laughs> Guys, I'm so sorry, but baggy t-shirts will always be superior and that's unfortunately on period. Thanks for coming to my TED talk. <laughs> When I get home, I just like wiping off my makeup because it makes me feel just fresh. So my everyday makeup routine, if you guys have watched my Get Ready With Me, usually just consists of my eyebrows and also putting on some mascara. But apart from that, I don't do too much because my face is already breaking out already. Like, I don't need more makeup to destroy it. <laughs> I look like a five-year-old. I then set up my room to introduce a more calm, comfortable, nighttime kind of vibe. Following this, I head to the kitchen to heat up some pasta using my beloved air fryer. If you guys watch my plenty, plenty vlogs, you would see that I am a very proud orange juiceaholics. Anyway, so... Yummy, scrumptious, delicious. I head to the living room and put on my absolute favourite YouTuber, Nella Rose. If you guys are enjoying this video so far, it would mean the absolute world if you click that juicy red button down below and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I've just finished eating my dinner and I just finished getting strength for some of the tasks that I have to do but I basically wanted to explain my routine a bit more so what I try my best to do is to complete all the work that I have that day at university so that when I come home I can just rest or do the bare minimum and that's just because I like associating uni with doing intense work and I like to do my best to associate home with resting but unfortunately I didn't finish the work that I had to do today I'm about to open my laptop and do some work but I just wanted to make it very clear that my personal routine I don't like doing work when I get home unless I absolutely have to so yeah now that I'm done waffling let's go start or finish my work 
I then head to my beautiful desk to set up my laptop. Since I began procrastinating, I decided to tuck away my phone and let it charge. I finally start my work from that evening. I had some catching up to do on work that I didn't get to finish at university. After doing some studying, I really like consolidating my knowledge and today I'll be using Medizzi to do this and they have also kindly sponsored today's video. Medizzi is a growing medical learning community that enables quick and easy access to the latest medical knowledge. With the Medizzi app, you can gain knowledge, discover medical cases, ask questions, help others and also discuss with other healthcare professionals. One of my favourite things about MedIzzy is their amazing question bank that helps you review, understand and retain medical knowledge. With over 30,000 multiple choice questions and flashcards from 21 major specialities, it is the perfect tool to test yourself and see where you need to improve. In the discuss section, you can find many different questions asked by different healthcare professionals, whether that be about good anatomy resources, a specific disease or even which stethoscope to buy. The app doesn't stop here. MedDizzy also allows you to follow interesting medical cases, stay up to date with the latest medical news, and also get access to thousands of useful learning resources shared by now and future healthcare professionals. MedDizzy reaches over 10 million healthcare professionals each month from over 120 countries. This allows you to connect and network with doctors, nurses, paramedics, and medical students all across the world. The MedIzzy app is free to use with limited access to questions. And if you do purchase the premium version, you get to access all of the questions. Make sure to check the link in the description box down below to download the app now. I felt like I met my threshold for the evening and guys, I just couldn't study further. So I decided to stop my revision for the day and have a chat with my siblings. Since bedtime is approaching, I tie up my hair and place it into a bonnet. These protect my braids as I sleep, keeping them nice and fresh. For me, editing is definitely my favourite hobby and also a creative outlet, so I spend some time doing that. After this, I have a quick chit chat on the phone with Hazal. When I'm done, I wash my face and also moisturize it. And since I'm feeling like an organized queen today, I decide to pack up my electronics and also arrange my bag for tomorrow's day. I organize my bag according to my timetable and the work that I will be completing the next day. So tomorrow I'll be doing some OSCE practice. So watch me try and fail to peacefully show you an aesthetic clip of my stethoscopes. LOL! I head into bed and set my alarm. If you enjoyed today's evening routine, then be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting that subscribe button down below. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.